here's the ride home on what was it uh, January 7th 2010 the new year and we had a new storm for the new year we were predicted to get four to six inches and we got our six inches four, four or five inches I mean five or six inches here's the last road I turn on before getting to our private drive to go back home and here's a truck passing me that's got a snow plow on it but he doesn't plow these county roads uh, the state roads are covered by the state vehicles and the county vehicles and he would be doing parking lots and private drives and things like that so here I just put my high beams on I didn't realize I didn't have the high beams on as I'm uh, driving home and holding this camera see it's not snowing very much but uh, the temperature was around I guess around 11 degrees or something around I guess that's around 8 degrees below on uh, the Celsius scale 11 Fahrenheit and usually I go about 50 miles an hour on this road but not today only about 30 and Coming up around this curve, I wanted to make sure I didn't slide off, but fortunately it's cold enough so that I didn't have any problems with traction for the most part until the bottom of this little hill here, uh, or where I make my turn in the middle of this hill. And uh, we've got a farm on our right there, a farm on our left, and I'm just going to, we're starting to go down a hill right here. So I wanted to be pretty careful about that and not uh, lose control. So I started slowing down. I tested the brakes and saw I was going to slide a little bit. So I slowed down quite a bit right here. That sign on the right is where I want to turn. And I thought, well, I can't really turn very well here. So I went into the left side of the road. And I'm going to try to make it up into here, but no, it doesn't do it. So instead of spinning my tires, I just said, hey, I'll back up. So I looked both ways on the road there, make sure no one was coming up or down the hill, and just backed right up. Of course, I wasn't looking through the viewfinder when I turned the camera around right here, so you can't see very well. But I just backed up into the drive that the private drive, no that's a county road across and uh, got some speed up so we can get up this little hump here and finally made it and our road hasn't been plowed at this point in time so here's our little little way on the way back um, little private road that's actually a little bit wider than the road out there that we just got off of. The county road is a little bit more narrow than this one. But um, it's pretty cool. Driving out in the snow like that, it's always fun. And it can be more fun if you go in a parking lot and spin around and get used to how the what the tires can take and what temperatures and all that kind of thing. So it would be good to go out in a parking lot when it's uh, snowy like this and just uh, learn to control your car. And of course, if the parking lot was empty is the, uh, the idea. And go too fast so you can feel what it's like to go too fast and then bring it back into control and all that kind of stuff. So right here, uh, sometimes I'll back here I'll step on the brakes pretty hard and see if it slides or how much it slides but it didn't um, uh, we uh, have, are told that our postal service works all the time you know they go out and the weather won't keep them back but I guess a plowed unplowed road will keep our postal workers home or off the road so I'm checking the mailbox here trying to find the night vision to turn that on. No mail today. So that was one task to do. And I'm trying to get the night vision off, but I can't find the button, so I just went ahead and kept going. Here's the, our driveway. The 
house is about 300 feet off the road. And this is a blacktop driveway now. It used to be gravel. But uh, the nice white pine trees are loaded with snow. And we have only the tracks that I made on the way out that are here in this snow. And I pushed the automatic garage door button right there. So the garage door is going up while I go around this little circle. And I get to go right into the garage, all safe and sound, and no snow in my shoes.